<laughs> Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with a new season of Trilla Park Boys. Season 3, Episode 1, The Kiss of Freedom. So, <laughs> the last season, they ended up back in prison. I'm shocked. And um, the funniest line of the whole show so far is Bubbles saying to the cows, Pretend you know me. <laughs> fantastic i'm excited to get started on this one um if you'd like to see the full unedited reaction the link will be down below for the patreon and also my twitch and facebook and twitter and other things um go follow me over there it would be cool to, to to talk to you about stuff and things so yeah let's just get in this now and have some fun how are you guys doing look at this long of cards four brand new ones it's one of the best days ever. Just about to go pick up Ricky and Julian at jail. <gasps> Those guys <laughs> never got out of jail with a bunch of money before, so this should be fun. You guys should come with me. I'm just gonna dump these off. <clears throat> I genuinely thought, because if I remember correctly, Ricky said, we can buy the dope now we're in prison. I thought, what was going to happen was, between season 2 and, and season 3 beginning, that Ricky was going to spend all his money on buying back his own dope and smoking it. So if they've got money, that is cool. What time is it, Bubbles? 11.30, Ricky. Ricky, you can't fucking light up in the bag. Do whatever the fuck I want, buddy. I'm rich as fuck now. 38 grand on unmarked bills? I don't give a fuck. Uh -oh. Ricky, oh. calm down, bro. 38 grand. Nice work, my dudes. That is insane. Like, I, I don't even think I've had 380 pounds spare in the bank, ever. <laughs> we should set up a few small businesses in the trailer park, man. Why don't you let me control your money? Control my money? I, Fuck no, RSVPs, listen, Julian. Let me invest what about in Freedom there. 35? I thought we were fucking retired. Uh-oh. Calm down. I grew the fucking dope. It's my fucking money. You can't scream dope out in the bank. Go wow, so... Problems have arisen from them making this much money. And also, Ricky looks like he's lost some serious weight, man. He looks good. He looks real good. Today's the day Ricky's getting out of jail. And apparently he has a whole bunch of money saved up. And I think he's probably going to try and move back in with Lucy or get with me again. Not this time. No, We've so got not. a surprise waiting for Ricky this time. Threesome? Holy fuck, that's good pepperoni. Gonna be some changes this time though, Randy. I feel much more secure. I feel much more able to deal with those assholes. Me too, Mr. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> the blood the cat's face out. Oh, that's gold. Oh, that is funny. Ow, I've just ripped me ear out. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god, you didn't have to do that. You deserve it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna go get all my shit and put it in there. Come on. Drive her in, do you? There's lots more where that came from. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is beautiful. That is genuinely lovely. Bunk beds, TV, satellite dish, 416 channels. Oh, he's fucking taking off. Anything I want to watch, it's there. I just turn her on. Indoor plumbing all hooked up. A little cell phone. You can watch. I never had a phone before. You can you can watch the TV while having a poo. That it's got it made. I'm getting a new trailer and a new car, and I'm gonna burn this car right to the ground. No. I'm starting a new life. What? Do not get rid. Of that call. <laughs> What's going on, Cheddar? Oh man, it's funny, but also it's lovely that Bubbles is prepared to do that for him. Looks pretty good. Pretty tight. High performance. Oh, we got all kinds of money. Let's make. Daddy, I want some ice cream. I'll get you some ice cream. Just one second. What are you guys doing? I told you to stay off those bikes! Trinity, I don't want you to see what your daddy's about to do. So why don't you head down to my shed? I got a brand new kitty. Tickle his belly! That's what you guys deserve for that. 
Wow, so he's messing with Julian's business as well. Like, that's, that's just not fair, mate. What are you, man? Now that I own those bikes, I guess I can do whatever I want to them, can I? Ricky. Tripped them up with a hockey stick, no big deal, and fired a few shots at them. The way I see it, I bought the bikes, I own them. Just like owning a target. You shoot at that, I shot at the bikes. And then Julian's got this attitude and fires a bullet at my brand new car. Real nice. I so I fired a shot at his new car. <laughs> spy for spy. So Ricky's just throwing his money away, basically. So he's going to be back to square one in a couple of days. You better get Ricky under control or I'm calling in the parole board. Ricky, I'm gathering evidence on you and I'm going to have you removed from this park one way or another. The old shit clock's ticking. What's wrong? Are you all right? Well, I don't want to end up drunk and stupid like you. That's what's wrong. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean, sweetie? Come on, Dad, you're not that stupid. Oh, God, kids, bless them. I mean, she didn't say that to be mean, did she? But you, you do, your kids do say some things like that. They do sting a bit. Like, um, my my youngest daughter, uh, she's autistic, and um, she said to my partner, she went, don't worry, Mom, you're not as fat as Dad. <laughs> That, that stung a little bit, it did, just a little bit. <laughs> so what's the damage? Well, with tax, it is $4,728.33, and that is the cash price. What? For a bunch of fucking books? Well, if you don't have it, that's fine. No, no, I have to tell you, no, no, it's no. a one-time price only. I've got lots of money, I've got the money. Ne nearly five grand for some encyclopedias. You're going to have to pay that now, mate. You, you have to. You've just literally said, these are for you, darling. You can't go back on it. Oh, my God. He's going to do it, dude. Holy shit. It's ass kissing time, man. Let's right on. Go. Oh, God, you deserve this, Ricky. Let's get Trinity out of here right now. Ricky, you did the... I mean, he did the right thing. Kind of. <laughs> he did right by his daughter. In a way. Or he could have just, you know, put money aside for our college education or something like that. But, but wh whatever, he did the right thing. Hey, Trin, what are you doing, Sully? Hey, Ray. How's it going? It's going well. Uh, I've been thinking. Uh, I think the important thing is for you to spend time with Trinity. So, the lawsuit's gone. Well, thanks, Lucy. I appreciate. It. I lost everything. And I'm sorry. I'd give you the money if I had. No, he didn't lose Trinity. So. I love you. I love you too. See, that's lovely. That is lovely. I mean, in the end, he did right by his daughter, and that's the most important thing. And she's turned around and said, the most important thing is spending time with your, with your child. And I 100% agree. I think time spent with your children is definitely more important than money spent on your children. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I want to give my kids the world, but unfortunately I can't. But the one thing they'll be able to say is that I was always there for them. I, I love them, and if they need advice or they need a hug, I can give them that. And obviously, I've got to be a disciplinarian and tell them off and all that crap. But I'm doing it for a good reason, you know. And it's lovely to see that she's, even though he, he, he's selling drugs and he's going to prison, she understands that, you know, he, he does love his daughter and he wants to be there for her. And again, it's it's lovely. It's beautiful. And that's why I come back to this show I'm the total opposite of these two. I mean, I don't do drugs. I've never been to jail. But I just love the show for its heart. And I'm not saying the audience is people who do drugs and go to jail. Because, of course, that's just ridiculous. I'm just saying that that's not me. And when I first thought of the show, when I looked up the show, I was like, oh, my God, this is what it's about. I may not enjoy it. But it's genuinely got this heart that brings us back all the time. It's hilarious. And it's just, it's it's so wholesome as well. <laughs> but, um... As ever, thank you for coming out to watch these. If you're new, subscribe. And of course, please do drop a like. It helps with visibility. And uh, I will see you all again very soon for more Trailer Park Boys reaction videos.